stop pregnant not by the normal process but she was too close to a guy in a pool and that was how the guy's sperm swam and entered inside her lady parts hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome it is so good to have you and if you're not new here thank you so much for dropping by again sister my name is alera i film about lifestyle self-growth and my experiences now for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my simple everyday makeup routine for beginners and amateurs just like myself not a makeup artist myself i'm just a girl who loves enjoys and does her own makeup if you are tired of always carrying your bare face to every social event and you are tired of saying i'm not like other girls i don't need makeup then <laughs> this video is for you let me rescue you today why even decided to make this video if you check most youtube channels by makeup artists that's if they expect you to just have all the makeup equipment in this life which is why it's really really hard for most beginners to learn how to do makeup via youtube because most times they call names of products that you haven't heard before in your life or some equipment they do have like 22 brushes just for one makeup bit and they will even call it for beginners <laughs> one thing i learned as a beginner is that <laughs> improvisation is key so before i start i'm just going to be showing you one after the other the products and equipment that i'll be using for this makeup bit so first thing you will need is a good face primer i don't have one here with me because the one i bought when i tried using it it just wasn't it at all but recently one of my friends lent me one that i used a few days ago which is on the screen right now there are probably better ones i don't know but i was able to use this primer and my makeup sat on my face for the entire day even after sweating and all of that so one thing you would need is a good face primer because like it or not you might sweat products you buy may not be the most original product and it might start breaking on your face but when you have a good primer it will help support your makeup throughout the day the next thing you need is a foundation of course and make sure you get your exact skin tone most people feel like when the foundation is a few shades lighter than your complexion that's when it appears nice but no if you want a clean face bit try as much as possible to get your exact skin color then of course you're going to need your concealer this is a very common concealer i think everybody knows this even you watching this right now this is the pro concealer and your foundation brush i really really enjoy using this brush guys it's just so firm on my face and it is so easy for me to manipulate it can practically pass through every corners of my face they are going to be needing this brush i've had this brush for over six years guys no no i'm not proud of it this brush is what i practically use for everything this is where the improvisation comes in i use this brush to apply my powder highlighter basically anything powder related i use this brush but if you're not lazy like me and you can spare the time i would actually advise you to get other brushes guys for various purposes it's just going to make your makeup easier then you definitely need these three brushes i use this to set my eyebrows and i use these two brushes for my eyeshadow you need a setting powder eyeliner mascara lipsticks and of course your eyeshadow the first thing i'm going to do is to powder my face this technique is totally optional so if you have oily skin then i strongly advise this i don't really have oily skin i have what you call normal skin but it's just natural for our face to sometimes secrete some oils i'm going to be using my setting powder all you have to do is to apply your setting powder to the places on your face where you secrete the most oil i'm really sorry if i look towards this way guys this is where my mirror is so i have to look at it while doing my makeup so the places where my face produces the most oils are my nose definitely this part of my cheeks then my chin and of course a standing ovation for my forehead this place you can fry plantain on this my forehead if you feel like it's your entire face that produces oil i know that some people that their faces are like engines <laughs> so by all means you can apply the setting powder to your entire face 
of choosing your setting powder guys i would advise that you get the same shade as your concealer some people like to get setting powders that are way lighter than their concealers especially some makeup artists the thing is that when you do it looks so flawless and effortless on your pictures but on ground it just doesn't do enough justice so as i did my makeup i'll be just you guys about when i first thought i was pregnant <laughs> my first pregnancy skin oh my god i forgot please scratch that so brows is not the first thing we'll do the first thing we'll do is to protect our clothes i normally do my makeup before i put on any clothes but well so why i decided to tell you guys this story while applying my makeup is because guys it's a very very stupid story like i can't even afford to tell you guys this story while maintaining eye contact with you guys throughout so that's why i decided that see we're going to tell this story and <laughs> do our makeup at the same time so anyways i was 12. So during the christmas period i went out to swim with some of my cousins and if you go to the pool a lot then you'll be familiar with those guys that will just come and meet any girl that they see to offer to teach them how to swim so this guy that came to meet me inside the pool and being the naive 12 year old that i was i assumed that okay maybe this guy is a lifeguard or something but then my cousin had already told me that i shouldn't worry you that he's going to be the one to guard me in the pool but then this cousin that's my big cousin is a guy that i was putting my hope on him too had gone to meet other girls to be forming a wall let me teach you how to swim and unfortunately for me because i went with my big cousin i entered into the adult pool instead of the children pool and well unlike now before i became a teenager guys i don't think i was up to five feet tall unlike now that i'm five ten out of nowhere and killing it the pool was like really deep for me i couldn't quite move that was when this guy came and decided that he wanted to become my lifeguard of the day and that period well i was watching too much american movies especially high school musical so i thought that when any guy comes to meet you at the pool to offer to teach you how to swim or to guard you I quickly assumed that he was probably the lifeguard or something, <laughs> I don't know. The guy came now and offered to just help me move around the pool so I wouldn't have to be in one position. I was like, ah, what a good Samaritan. So that was how this guy carried me on his back and was carrying me to move around the entire pool. Then he dropped me for a while and told me that I should try putting my legs on the ground. But when I did it, the water was like reaching me here so the guy now carried me and he made me wrap his waist region with my legs and i don't know i just didn't quite feel comfortable with that position so my mind was that okay immediately he carries me out of this deep part then well i'm coming down and i'm saying my goodbyes because this is sin that i'm committing so when we got to the shallow region the guy was like still using style to grip my towels want, not wanting to let me go and stuff i was like see are you is there something wrong with you i said i'm not doing it again though i don't I, I don't need a lifeguard again so i just sharp pushed him and carried myself off of his body this was in december or january basically christmas new year period so easter came and i don't know what i ate during that period but i had my first constipation and my stomach was so swollen and i was like hey what is this i was constipated for over a week nothing less than a week and maybe a couple of days and i was like hey god what is this this is not ordinary my stomach was swollen and it was strong like a pregnant woman's zone and mind you i never had a constipation i didn't even have an idea what that term was only thing i knew was that my smack was swollen and strong like a pregnant woman's zone i was like nah doesn't make any sense i never done what people used to do before and that was the period went on facebook and even up till now sharp people post really stupid and meaningless things on facebook then for no reason whatsoever my mind just decided to fly to that pool experience and to make matters worse like i said 
Facebook. That was when all these storytellers on Facebook posted that a girl got pregnant, not by the normal process, but she was too close to a guy in a pool, and that was how the guy's sperm swam and entered inside her lady parts. And I was like, oh my god, this confirms it. Oh my god, I'm a child. And that was when I started Kabashi. I was like, God, please. How would I even explain this one? My mommy repeats me. And to make matters worse, there was this boy I was crushing on, and I was like, ah, Otom, there's no way this boy will accept a bastard child. And because of the fear I had in my heart, I could not even meet my parents or even anybody to tell them that, ah, my stomach is making me feel uncomfortable, I'm having some aches on my stomach, or I don't know what it is. I was just suffering in silence. So after suffering myself for like a week or two, that was how God decided to have mercy on me. I was finally able to use the restroom and I swear guys, I swear I spent more than one hour in that place. My family members kept checking on me to make sure if I was okay. I was like, just leave me, I'm okay. <laughs> So that guys was my first pregnancy scare And yes, I'm saying first because trust me, they've been others First time I danced with a guy, I feared there could have been a possibility that maybe we're dancing too close First time I kissed a boy, I swear when I finally have kids As soon as I feel like they'll be able to understand these things I must teach it to them to prevent my children from acting like their old mommy can definitely rock this look for a date or a girls night out or simply just anywhere it's not much not professionally done but do i look gorge or what so that's it for today thank you guys so much for tuning in please don't forget to click on the subscribe button just in case you haven't like this video guys i told you earlier it really really helps me a lot okay let me tell you guys something you know when you open youtube and they already recommended videos on your feed videos you did not by yourself request for when you open your youtube on your feed you see suggested videos listed for you and whenever you see the one you feel you might be interested in, you just click it and end up liking it that's what happens when you guys like my videos when you like my videos continuously it makes youtube suggest my videos more and it makes us popular because youtube then recommends my videos for other people to watch so you see so please guys give my video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on the notification bell if you haven't so whenever i post a new video you would be the first to know bye guys